This week we're covering one of the truly great new additions in ES2015. The spread operator allows you to access the values in an array or array-like type such as a node list, and more easily work with them in your code. Let's build ourselves two simple arrays. If we want to combine these two arrays, we can't just do the following. Because all that would do is give us an array with two values, each of which was a nested array. There are a variety of approaches to combining arrays in JavaScript, but ES2015 has made it really easy. Check this out. This should give us an array featuring all of the characters. And there we go. You can also use this with array methods like push, so we could just add the new characters in with the existing ones, like this. This should give us identical output to the code above it. Yep. You can also use the spread operator to pass arguments to a function in an array without having to use array.apply. Here's an example. Note that simply multiplying is actually faster than squaring using math.pow. This will give us the third side is 29 units long. And there we go. As you can see, it takes the first entry in the array and matches it to the first argument, the second value to the second argument, and so forth. Any additional values in an array that don't have corresponding arguments will need to be accessed with the arguments object. Unless, of course, you're using the rest operator like we talked about a few weeks ago. The spread operator works really well in a function designed to take an arbitrary number of arguments. For example, JavaScript's built-in math.max, which returns the largest number from its list of arguments. Watch. This isn't all that valuable in an array with four data points, but if you had 400,000, that would be more useful. As you can see, it finds 32.74. And of course, let's not forget that the spread operator is amazingly useful with variable destructuring, which we also talked about recently. If you work in React in any major capacity, you'll end up using this and loving it. Here's a simple example. Remember that we mutated the characters array above with the dot .push, so it contains everyone now. Save it, refresh, and we get Bojack, Todd, and an array containing the others. There are lots more ways to use the spread operator, but this is a pretty good sampling that should give you a feel for how it works. As always, if you want a deep dive, I recommend MDN's topic page on the subject. Next week, we'll do a quick introduction, or refresher, on ternary operators, which are not an ES2015 feature, but are something you should definitely know how to use. They took me a bit to wrap my head around when I was first learning, but now I love them like a family member. See you then.